<laughs> Larry catches the biggest bass. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So I was thinking I was getting the kayak out, getting it down here ready to go. And I love a new year because a new year for me personally always just kind of means like a fresh start, if you will. I normally tend to find like new fishing locations in a new year. I just like to find places that are like super close to the house. This is where I'm at now is like 45, 50 minutes away, um, straight down the interstate. I just like finding new places that somehow I've looked over or, you know, just getting out and exploring a new place. You'll find a new boat line a little bit closer to where you put in at. You know, there's fish on it. And this is one of those places. This Yesterday I had a really good day. I broke my personal best spotted bass, um, which that was unexpected, especially comparing it to the day that I had been having previously or before at that point, it absolutely sucked. So we came back out here today. Um, one thing that I'm going to do a lot of, and I'm going to be forced to do a lot of because I want to fish a lot of tournaments this year. I have 29 national, or I have 29 planned. I think like six are national and then the rest are just kind of local, but they're all in a lot of bodies of water. They're all in Alabama and they're all bodies of water that I really don't have too much experience on. So the, a lot of the videos this year are going to probably be on brand new places, exploring, kayaking, bank fishing. I found a whole bunch of places. I have electric bikes to get to where I need to go, so there's no excuse for me not to go and explore more than I have for reviews this year. So, with that being said, we have a, a thing that I don't know has ever happened on this channel for bass fishing. I only have spinning rods. Just because I had so many bites yesterday on a net rig, I'm gonna go up and down this creek. It's been cold today. It's like the first kind of warm day. I don't know if it's gonna help, hurt. It seemed like as it got warmer, Yesterday, the bite got better out here, but like as the evening started to progress, it got a little bit tougher. So all three are gonna be seven foot medium Veritas PLX spinning rods. This is the Ike Revo. Over there, we have the new Revo SX, which you'll see all of these more in depth when we get out and start fishing. And then over here, we have the Revo Rocket. A little high speed gear ratio spinning combo. With that being said, sit back, relax. We're gonna do some fishing this evening. We got a good little while to come out and explore, so we're gonna take advantage of it. Stay tuned. All right, boys. Look, we got the kayak all rigged up, ready to go. Let's get our remote attached to us. I like to put my remote on my PFD because it's kind of easier. All right, so yesterday uh, when I started the video, I was like, I'm breaking in a new catch board. <laughs> and the first two fish that I caught yesterday were shad. But after breaking a PB and putting it on that board, I feel like that board's broken in. So the break in process complete of the catch board. All right. Yeah, so I'm gonna hang out right here. We're gonna rig up. I think yesterday I was doing really good on a, a little general. So definitely we're gonna stick with that today. And also we're gonna try a crawl. I'm sure a crawl bait will do great in here as well. Man, it's kind of hot today. I think it's cool because like sometimes with these creek deals like this, the fish just come in here for like the season. So like when it's cold, you know, the main uh, lake will be cold and the water in the creeks will be warmer. There's more bait in like these big wide creeks like this. So, I mean, this is kind of like a perfect, you know, probably just hit the hit nail on the head either yesterday or hopefully today as well but i need to get some lighter leader line this is 12 pound leader on 15 pound braid i want to say i wouldn't mind going like 10 pound 12 pound braid to 10 pound leader but also we got some structure that we'll be fishing around so i'm not too mad at what we got so i don't know the weight of them but i got the lightest ned rig hooks that i could find um in my tackle box i am using those today the thought process behind that is we don't have that much wind right now like the wind's really not blowing there's not really current or anything moving through this area so just having that lighter look a lighter weight will kind of have more of a natural presentation the lures won't fall as fast
missed it. Okay, so this is where my bike started yesterday. seeing as many fish on the fish finder as i was seeing yesterday or bait or anything so i'm gonna just kind of cruise around like i'm seeing them but they're not they're acting like they don't see me they don't see my lure so i'm gonna keep casting keep trying uh see like there's some fish right there but i don't know maybe they're over there today maybe they're kind of more out here in the middle um, we'll see. All right, I'm gonna go back up here, get the rest of the stuff, put a couple of these Ned rods up, and we're just gonna go fish this other side because this ain't doing it for us. It's like all these fish have fallen asleep. We've been out here for an hour, I only had one bite. I feel like if they were still here and they were still, you know, doing the same thing as they were yesterday, we probably should be at at least six right now. All right guys, so what I'm dealing with right now is look at all these fish. I was trying to troll a little bit, or not troll, but go to another spot and I passed over all these fish. And I've dropped a rattle trap on their head and jigged it, nothing. I did a Ned rig, nothing. Throwing the money badge or something that'll get down there to them now. I wonder if I need like a jigging spoon. Or they could be like hybrid, hybrid bass, like, uh, white bass they could not be largemouth or spots i mean the way as many of them that were down there it makes me think that they were definitely like hybrid or something like that but i would think they wouldn't be too hard to catch if they were i'll leave this alone man i don't know i feel like i'm doing something totally wrong i'm gonna keep pushing and go kind of more towards the mouth of where this creek starts and since the wind's been blowing that way maybe all the fish have just been blown over there i don't know First one of the day. Finally on this rip wrap. Opens a spot. Yep, 100% spot. Oh, come here, man. Gotcha. Oh, first one. Only took us about 13 hours, it feels like. <laughs> no, all seriousness, I think it did take us about two hours to finally get our first one. We had to move out of that creek we were in came out got lucky definitely on this riprap bank because this is not a battle Ooh, that red money badger lips are red you gotta throw the red Thirteen. Where we got 13 eh, not the biggest but I'm thankful for him because he is the first fish of the day There we go. Awesome, thank you, sir. On that red money badger. 
Well, let's gonna pick up the front side. I know it's a little bit deeper right here, so the money badger's a better option just for the simple fact of. It's a, I really like the money badger just because it's that smaller profile. It's a lot smaller profile than most crankbaits that dive 10 feet. So I feel like if you're just looking to pick up a bite, it's a great bait to throw. This is so shallow right here that money badger dives deeper than what we needed to. I'm gonna try the fritz side. There we go. Oh, right at the kayak. Literally ate it on the way up on the front side. I feel like he doesn't have it good. Oh, there we go. Kayak flip. <laughs> there we go, that's number two. Now the question is, is he any bigger? Than the first one, I feel like he's probably about the exact same size. Hey, little spotted bass. This one's definitely a spot. The last one was a large mouth. Cool. Followed it up. I literally ate it at the kayak. It's always crazy to me. Like in the winter time, this fish is freezing cold. It's 45 degrees. Water's a degree warmer right here than what it was. But it's always crazy having like a fish come up and eat it like that. Hey, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. He's gonna try to jump. Yeah, he's shorter. All right, so downgrade for the second fish, but we got a 13 and a 12 and a half. So two fish, we gotta find some size. I know there's some big ones in here. money badger down now we have a fish on the red money badger and on the red fritz side one spot one large mouth all right boys oh i figured if we could get over here i didn't fish through any of that other stuff just because it's starting to get later and i figured if we could get over here you know there would be a fish somewhere at a little bit deeper water it just makes sense probably pick that money badger back up but the fritz side is just such a confidence lure for me like if i if you could, if I could only have one lure to fish with you around, like flat-sided crankbait, it's gonna be the front side. And this water's a lot better, cause we're out. I made a couple casts um, in the last spot that I was in, and the water got really dirty back in there. I was like, yeah, I don't know if this is gonna do it for me. in with this but it's got a lot deeper i think that money badger would probably be a better option here all right money badger five If you drop me off at a lake and I had to, you know, be able to go catch five fish every time. You know, if I had to go catch five fish every day for a week out on a new lake, I feel like I'd need two weeks to prepare for that. Depending on the lake, like maximum, I feel like I'd need like two weeks to find, you know, one good area, then find another good area to bring you back five fish every day for a week. Especially with kayak fishing, the whole lake isn't accessible to you. Like you really only have, you know, depending on your battery size, you really only can travel, you know, max maximum 20 miles on the lake and a lot of lakes that's not even shoot an eighth of it that's 64th of it so
There we go. Off the bridge, number three. Snagged them, that's... That one wouldn't count. Fish number three? I don't think. It's a largemouth. We got two largemouth on one spot. Uh, if you feel me, I'm not just putting my finger in these fish's mouth. <laughs> Spotted bass, they have a little rough patch on their tongue. So, like, if you're unsure, you can always feel for that little rough patch. Sometimes it's really small. Sometimes it be kind. It can be kind of hard to feel, but it just feels like an extra set of teeth. Uh, sometimes you have to kind of like rub over it a couple times to really feel it. But we got largemouth number three. Cool. I'm not gonna measure that one. I think that one's definitely a little bit smaller than the other ones that we've caught today. It's about time to head back, or it's actually past time to head back. Um, it's definitely a lot darker than where it should be. <laughs> there is definitely gonna, I'm definitely gonna be headed back in the dark tonight, so might as well enjoy the light while we get it. <laughs> this is my last stop. I saw this bridge way way back there i was like i ain't gotta try it out. i'm happy we caught one off of it hey oh we got bit right there too i feel like we got bit over here in the first cast we made over here but we got two sides of the bridge yeah. try both sides also i might throw that money badger in there too just to see Man. so far today no no real size it's just you know we're catching them here catching them there no patterns that i could be like oh yeah whenever i see this i'm catching one off of something like this it's just kind of been <laughs> whenever there's a fish there's a fish and if you hook up on them you hook up Bag, I'm racing the clock, look at him block, watching him block. Used to see this on my sleep when I ain't had shit on my thoughts in the car. I really was lost. Now I'm public with the soundscapes.